Hey, Betty Fish. It's the 7th of June, 2018. And uh, more very interesting things that have been uh, shown to me here that I want to show you. Um, it started out here, uh, just going through my headlines, and apparently we're going to find out what NASA's Curiosity found on Mars. I don't know how. I, I don't believe that anything came back from Mars, but apparently it's able to set up a tripod and take selfies of itself. Uh, I just, I just can't stress how fake and ridiculous this stuff is on its face but i digress so this is this is in front of my eyes today and through a series of a couple of clicks here and there i wind up on nasa and i see that they have released their logo to mark apollo's 50th anniversary apollo and boy could this rabbit hole go deep could it go deeper than deeper than deep? But I'm just going to try and share with you what I've been shown here, okay? I see the image, and, and it's like immediate to me what I see here. The 50 and the three stars of Orion, 53. Uh, NASA is absolutely famous for their use of numerology. So when I see their little their little logos and whatever language they use, I apply numerology to it. So in other words, the A would be a 1, the P would be a 7. This is how they operate, okay? Numerology. Let's see, I'll break this down like this so you can see it. And you'll see that the A is a 1, P is a 7, 17, 50, Three, one, fifty-three, seventeen, fifty-three. Okay, so I'm getting some really, really crazy stuff out of this. The O L L O. You see that the O is a six, the L is a three, so that we have six, three, three, six, 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 six. Okay, so seventeen, six, six, six. There's their thirty-three, as well as the three here and the two L's, thirty-three. Uh, they just can't resist you guys. They can't. It's it's in their blood. They they have to deceive and do their work in the dark. That's just what they do. Because they are part of the great deception of this entire world. And it's been going on a lot longer than 50 years. They started this back, believe it or not. Guess who had a big hand in bringing these people in? The Nazis, that is. The satanic nazis who uh who summon demons and garner information and technology knowledge through these uh satanic sigils and whatnot and this guy was fresh out of the air force and was working for none other none other than i got to show you this he's such a hero he got out of church and he's working for brown brothers harriman now, you're going to have to do your own research on that to find its Nazi links and just bottomless pit of deception and evil. That's what you'll find, okay? So, George Bush was intimately involved in the birthing and the bringing up, if you will, of both NASA, the CIA, so on and so forth. And that guy played a huge part, and that's why I'm watching him uh, approaching his 94th birthday here. And so I'm looking at the Apollo, like I said, and uh, again, you got the 117, the 153. This is crazy, you guys, okay? It goes even deeper than that. This, this slash here going through these two uh, O's here, well, that represents the phallic and the vagina that's what it does the very same thing as what we see here on the new world currency same thing i talked about that before that's what it represents and in this one we have the moon and in this one we have mars and this is the way it works with me folks i can't help you 
when I see this, the, the resolution's really bad, but it is what it is. It's the best one I can find. I look at this thing and I see something, but I don't know what it is. So that voice tells me, turn it upside down because that's what they do. They turn this, their plans upside down. They turn God's perfect numbers and letters and, and everything, and they just turn it upside down and use it for their dark purposes. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. You know, it's to push you away from God. And so when I flip this over and I look at this moon, I, I just see it. I just do. Right away, I see an eye, an eye. This is like a long kind of nose, and I'll show you what I mean. This is the side of the face here, and this is the mouth, this is the teeth right there, and this is like a big cheek side of the face and up to the eye. It's a big drawn out nose, and up here is the top of the head, and this is a ear. That is a sheep, and I'm going to show you what sheep it is. It's that sheep. I'm just telling you, right down to the two buck teeth right there. See that? See that? A long, drawn-out nose. That's what it is, guys. I'm sorry. It just came upon me, and that's what it is. And you know who this little guy is? He is the number nine sheep. And where did he come from? I'm telling you, this is just crazy, you guys, the way it is. He came from here, from Donald Trump's Serta mattress commercial. Looking good, number nine. Looking good. Where's your dignity? Yeah, where's your dignity? And then they show the Trump family crest, the tip of the spear. It's all right here, you guys. I can't explain it any clearer than that. You're seeing their birthing, essentially, and their Messiah, their God, their King, their ruler, their master. They are essentially proclaiming his kingdom in a sense okay and this is the clincher right here i'm going to show you right now next giant leap okay think about this now next giant leap what do you think that is in gematria next giant leap 888 so you got to look at it from a supernatural kind of perspective, if you understand what I mean, 888, Jesus on the cross, gospel of Jesus, okay? This is just off the hook telling us so many things. That everything is coming to a point. Everything is culminating. Everything is approaching that apex or whatever you want to call it. That the flip, the switch, it's just going to be very different very quickly and you're not going to be able to deal with it without Jesus Christ I'm telling you right now without indwelling the Holy Spirit the things that are coming are not going to be able to be dealt with I'm just telling you you will not be able to withstand it you just won't so I had to show that to you and and the one last thing in this kind of stuff you guys it just goes on and on and on it just does i'm reading the uh, little write-up they do about this whole deal and down here they talk about where uh oh neil armstrong declared his first step onto the lunar surface from the ladder of the eagle lander on july 20th 1969 again i cannot stress to you how big of a paradigm shift occurred during that time frame that the deception agenda what they are bringing on this world is just people can't even wrap their heads around it i i have a hard time sometimes but the holy spirit he he testifies to me you understand what i'm saying just like how i'm showing you these things you take it to the spirit you take it to god you take it to scripture you take it to prayer and your spirit will either agree or disagree with the things i'm showing you now, exactly what they mean, you know, that's some left to interpretation. I'm seeing a double message here. I'm seeing God speaking, saying, you know what? I'm at the door. This is just the way it is. Okay? And this is this, this satanic world also speaking, you know, their vain show 
saying that we have arrived. I have arrived. I will be above God. I will. Apollo, Apollyon, Revelation 9-11, just like Trump in the uh, commercial. 9-11, the sheep. Do you see where I'm coming from here? I mean, it all connects together, and it's all telling us that something is on the verge of being here. I just don't know how else to put it. And it's a big deal. So you got to be in Christ, always praying, looking up, thinking the things of heaven. You know what I mean? Detach from this world, I'm telling you folks. So, yeah, the Apollo uh, mission had... 11 launches or 11 years, 33 spacecrafts. It's just a giant joke, okay? But you can't get away from it. You can't, you can't get away from what I'm showing you, really. I mean, you can try, you know? I mean, if you look, I showed you the sheep in the moon. Well, let's flip it back right side up, and you can see the serpent in Mars. I mean, his little serpent mouth, his little serpent nostrils, his little serpent eyes. It's kind of like in a kind of lens that, you know, bends the edges like they do with their pictures from space. It's a serpent. A serpent and a sheep. In the Apollo, the newest Apollo uh, logo. That's crazy, folks. Get right with Christ, I'm telling you right now. I mean, stuff is just coming, man. And so I had to unload this on you. It just came upon me just like that. Wham, bam. And of course, you know, like I say, it goes further, but I think that's probably enough. Oh, no, there is. There's one more thing I have to show you. I have to. July 20th, 1969, right? Apollo 17, 53, 153. Next giant leap, 888. You can't forget that. I mean, you cannot make that up. Next giant leap, 888, right? Well, we take the 17, right? AP-17 and the 888, and we punch in July 20th, 1969, just to achieve that time span that I'm talking about. And you guys, you guys just won't be able to get over this. This is just ridiculously ridiculous. Ah, uh, yeah, I opened too much stuff right there. From the time he took his giant leap, uh, July 20th, 69, get a load of this. This is something you can't make up. July 11th, 7-11, it will be 17,888 days. Just like here. 17, 888, 666, 153. The sheep, the serpent, everything's here. The whole, everything gets explained in this one. I mean, that's just insanity. But can you get a load of that? The 17888 to 711. Don't know what it means exactly. Don't know what's going to occur between now and then. But I know, I know this with absolute certainty. That you need Jesus Christ. If you see the darkness that's around you. And you come to the understanding that you cannot escape that. You cannot defeat that. No man can. Come to realize you need a savior. And that's Jesus Christ. And he's the only one. There is no other. So you need to understand that. So, happy birthday, Apollyon. Revelation 9-11. And they had a king over them. Apollyon. Apollo. So, I hope this really clears up some stuff with some people. I really do. You need to understand the world you live in. And you need to turn from it. And seek Jesus, okay? Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 